<laughs> Seems to be some kind of cool bird. I'm not sure of the species. We have to count the scales on this one to do an identification. It's very docile. Doesn't seem to want to bite. It's very calm. Hmm. In temperament. For a snake of the trip. For a snake of the trip. <laughs> You're on jokes. <laughs> So here yeah, nah. now, we back out here. In the bush. We are going to eat. Yeah? They know. Bush monster and my sister. We go on, we go on deep in the bush. Well, we go in deep in the bush. We still have our way to walk still. So what's we talk at species? The man says survive. That is our target species. We go and survive. Just trying to get you oh. All right. A nice male brilliant lizard. This is a nice one. Already find something. There's a brilliant lizard of variegated gecko. Brilliant called gecko or variegated gecko. Yeah, I've only seen these in forest areas. Ah, look at them go. Look. Ah. Uh, Dragon fruit in the bush. I guess this is one of the original ones. It's small, the fruit like that small and whitish pink, like a bigger piece. <laughs> it's the bush one. Bush. Dragon fruit. So the mission now is looking for a camping spot. So you can see how, how that turned out. <laughs> but we just always find what we're looking for. Well, when it comes to camping spots, this man taking the high ground. The high bulldozer. Going through all this mud. I don't afraid mud. Mud afraid me. We cleaning the bush here, trying to make a camp. And right there. Hold on, let me get a little closer. See right there. A cascabel coming down to the ground to find what I don't know. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little closer. Right. They're called long. I think it's the longest cascabel I ever seen, but it could get longer than that. Oh, uh, gone. Just now. Go and get a little closer and do some film it a little closer. Then. While fixing up camp. We come across this cascabel, cascabel domelion or coke tree boa. This is one of only four boas found in Trinidad and one of only three found in Tobago. They are very defensive. They're quick to get agitated. And being a boa, they are not venomous. <laughs> I don't want to be close to that business end at all. This is amazing thing. Do you get some footage? Then go you marry No, I stated it was the largest cascabel I've ever come across. It was actually over six feet. Now it didn't look like much in the video, but it was. The other names it goes by is Richenberg Tree Boa, Trinidad Tree Boa, Cook Tree Boa, Tree Boa, and I've heard the term Mango Mapapi. They are slow non-venomous snakes and they are the only true tree boas found in TNT. This one we came across was a female. They are generally larger and a little bit duller in color compared to the males. <laughs> a Trinitatus. A scorpion. While we clean in. Look my hammock right here. Look, look, look. Scorpion there. My hammock already. But do I care? Nah. Oh, look one on the here. What? Oh. Our next one? Yeah. Where? Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Look, our next one. <laughs> hey. Ways. And that's two females. That's a female. There's a female. <laughs> Ways, boy. That one going. So. 
and that ongoing stuff. So close to camp. Make sure it have none. We find two. Well, the phone can't pick it up, but there is a glowing fungus. We can barely pick up anything. I face it has some sticks, some trees it's and on the ground. The but it has real glowing fungus. Huh. I mean, none of the cameras can pick. Well, my camera can pick it up, but it glowing in the dark. That's cool. I wish the camera could pick it up because it looks so cool. The usual critter. I mean, we come across so much of these now. Oh no, it's gone. Yeah. See real plenty of those on trips. Seen a unusual glass trim. That is a camera, but you have a bright yellow tail. I've never seen one with that yet, that much yellow. Don't really know what kind of spider this is, but it's very interesting. This is the find it looks kind of deadly. I find it looks cool. I did a video on this one before on TikTok. Cameron Boku or freshwater shrimp. Not as big as the Maki, but it has so many different colorations of this one. But this one doesn't really grow. Well, it grows a little bit larger than this. But that's about the size. And then there's these ones. These smaller shrimp species. These glass shrimp, which is different to this and so there's this species the glass one and if you look there there's a next species oh look a next that's also the same type but a different coloration they have so many colorations reddish yellowish sometimes just plain color but the same species now I'm gonna take this one and put it back what do you see Oh, too much, eh? Yeah, in one tree. That is awesome. Yeah, look. Match it. I mean, I can see the second one. Oh, well, yeah, it's two. One there and one up there. That's cool. Let's get a closer look at them. See them. One over there and one over there in the same tree. These are long tail machets. Look at them. Sorry for disturbing you. Yeah, I think we'll just leave them there. But two in one tree. That's amazing. You don't really see that. I guess we'll put this down in the box that juvenile machets sometimes sleep together. I didn't even spot this. Which one's a yellow? Look how much I then you see two. Oh, looks like they, they had enough of us. Is it now? Let's get out of here. Then anyway, let's left them. Oh, they keep coming down. It jumped down the tree. Both of them just fly down as we're ready to leave there. Uh, give me a few bites. I ain't know where, but long tail machet. We bounce these up on a on quite a few vlogs. Normally it's juveniles, and yet. Well, I have seen bigger ones, but I haven't put them in vlogs yet. Well, I haven't seen them on these trips. Amazing creatures. But they die here now, which is why we find them just chilling out on the trees. They sleep on treetops, in vines, bushes, shrubs, those kind of things, off the ground. And they are non-venomous. What do they feed on? Oh, they feed on frogs, lizards, birds, small mammals, and sometimes insects. And I've seen some feeding on spiders. Now what was amazing is that these two was juvenile sleeping in the same tree. So close to each other. And that has never really been observed in Trinidad. I believe this is the first time somebody has ever observed that. After you get some footage, I'm going to let it go. The trees it was heading to. Oh no, you don't want to go. And 
gone. Yeah, and my sister found what did you find? Oh, uh, velvet oil from one creature to the next. These is one of the top predators in the insect world. It's the only chuffer of velvet worm. I believe I butchered that name, but it feels like some kind of claw. Now the interesting thing is that it shoots out a substance that it used to catch prey or defend itself. But I'll talk more on that on the next bounce up video. See that day? A Brazilian wonder. You think this man prayed so much? <laughs> yeah. The king, well, I would say is the arachnid. You don't mess with in this country. The chevron is the largest, but you see this is the deadliest one in this country. Found another one. Ooh, this one is on the go. The whole number is around there. I thought I'm on about it before. Because <laughs> actually, see the coloration is on the nose. Hmm. It cannot be just molt. We a she. Most like we a she. Yeah. Just molt. Yes, so we are heading back to camp there, cook up something to eat possibly, I think, and call it a night. I am tired, well, we are tired. I've been on my feet since 3 o'clock in the morning and now it's the next day. So, it was fun. I am so sure I'm well rested. <laughs> <laughs> This is a giant tree frog, the largest tree frog in Trinidad and Tobago. There's no other tree frog bigger than this. It's the name Giant. There are some that gets close to this size, but that's about it. Awesome. We reach back at camp. We're gonna start up the fire day. Get some food. Yeah. But I'm extremely tired, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog now. So we saw a, quite a few creatures, some deadly ones, some not so deadly ones, and some encounters. I'm extremely tired, so I don't have the enthusiasm as I would have when I end in a video. So I want to thank my sister somewhere in the back there and bush monster somewhere down there in the dark and until next time peace out